This might be an age-old question, but should you go for a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop? Now, some of you might already know the answer and think that it's clear as day, but that would be only true years ago. Nowadays, the answer is not as straightforward as you might think. Well, Acer has kindly sponsored this video and they have provided us with some of their desktops and one of their most popular gaming laptops. So we're going to dive deep into these systems and see if we can answer that question. To start off, let's set the parameters and see what we are dealing with here. Firstly, let's look at the gaming laptop. We have the Predator Helios 300 with us today, and it's basically a 15.6 inch gaming laptop that's available in a number of different configurations. The one we have in particular features an Intel Core i7 12700H, Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. On the other hand, we have the Predator Orion 3000, and this is what most would consider to be a mid-tower case, though slightly more towards the smaller side of things. This features an Intel Core i7 12700F, Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060, 32 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. Sounds familiar? Well, it's almost exactly the same specs as found on the Helios 300. So in a way, pitting the two against each other is pretty fair, as both systems feature almost the exact same parts. Okay, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's see what else the Helios 300 has to offer, because unlike the Orion 3000, this is a gaming laptop, which means it's an entire package by itself. The design is striking and bold, and gives it quite an impressive appearance. It also features a subtle greyish blue color scheme with dark silver and cyan blue accents for a little splash of character. The entire laptop is also made out of aluminum, with the exception of the bottom panel, which gives it a really solid build quality. Open up the lid, and you'll be greeted with a nice IPS display. It's Quad HD with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, 165Hz refresh rate with a 3ms response time, 300 nits max brightness, 100% DCI-P3 color, and support for G-Sync and Advanced Optimus. Move downwards and you get a really nice and comfortable full-size keyboard with support for perky RGB as well as a pretty large trackpad. You also get a decent set of speakers alongside a plethora of ports. But now let's switch over to the Orion 3000 and see what we have here. As mentioned, it's a mid-tower case that's designed around an MBATX size motherboard. It features a unique design that gives an obsidian vibe that's accentuated with the use of RGB via pulsar lighting that can be configured using Predator Sense. There's even a small handle at the top that'll allow you to easily move it from place to place should you need to. Open it up, and you can see all the parts in its glory. Included are two 92mm Predator Frostblade 2.0 fans with RGB that will help to suck in cold air from the front and exhaust the hot air out the back. You'll also see mounting points for two additional 3.5 inch drives should you want to add more storage. Overall, it's a really clean and compact design that packs quite a lot in a small area. Not to mention that you also get quite a number of I.O. directly for the motherboard, the GPU, as well as the front panel of the chassis. So with all that said, let's take a look at how the two systems perform, and we start with Cinebench R23, and we pit the Core i7s against each other. Despite there being differences such as the number of performance and efficiency cores, as well as the total power configured, the Core i7 in the Helios 300 is really capable, and performs really close to the Core i7 in the Orion 3000. Definitely not something you would have expected years ago. But gaming is probably far more important because after all, we're talking about the Predator series from Acer here, so let's get right into that. We tested a few games, especially esports titles such as Valorant, and the results are really intriguing to say the least. Generally, the gaming desktop would perform better, even though their specifications are really similar. But when it comes to slightly more graphically demanding games like Apex or Halo Infinite, You'll be surprised to find that the gaming laptop trade blows with the gaming desktop, and at times even outperform it just a little. This goes to show just how much technology has improved in the laptop segment over the past few years. But no matter which you go for, you're going to get a really enjoyable gaming experience, especially even on the Helios 300. It has that beautiful IPS display that not only supports G-Sync, but it also supports advanced optimus for either the best battery life possible or the best performance possible. That's key. So in terms of performance, they perform really similarly. So what would actually make you choose one over the other? Well, let's now talk about the pros and cons of each. With the Helios 300, you'll be locked to whatever choices are available from Acer. 
Here in particular, we have the Quad HD 165Hz IPS panel that's really nice. But if let's say you wanted 4K or you wanted a higher refresh rate, you might not have the option. Whereas with the Orion 3000, you are free to connect whichever display you fancy. Take the Predator X34GS for example. It's a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor that boasts a high resolution and refresh rate and just looks beautiful. You can just get this connected to the Orion 3000 and you're good to go. Talking about portability, it is nice to mention that the Orion 3000 does have a small handle on the top where you can grip it to move it from place to place fairly easily. But it's definitely nowhere near as portable as a gaming laptop like the Helios 300. With a gaming laptop, you can use it basically anywhere you want and it's light enough for you to carry in a backpack with no issues. You can't really say that for the gaming desktop. Not to mention, you can't really use it on battery. You have to find a mains to plug it into. Additionally, you still have to lug around a keyboard, mouse, monitor, and perhaps speakers to even use it. With a gaming laptop, that's just it. It's an entire package. Now in terms of price, the two are actually priced really similarly as well. But you do have to note that with the Orion 3000, you do still have to add on a monitor. Whereas on the Helios 300, it comes with it. But if you're talking in terms of value, the gaming desktop is going to be of better value just simply because of longevity, performance, and serviceability. The last major factor would be upgradability. With the Helios 300, you can upgrade the RAM, add an additional M.2 SSD, or change the Wi-Fi card should you so desire. Pretty great all around. The Orion 3000, however, takes it up a notch, and it can do all that, but also swap out the CPU, GPU, swap out the CPU cooler, and add even more storage to boot. There are definitely more options with the Orion 3000 gaming desktop. To that end, gaming desktops simply do offer quite a lot more and you can even go all out and opt for the Orion 7000 instead, which will feature up to Intel Core i9-12900K and Nvidia GeForce RTX 3090 alongside 64GB of RAM and 1TB of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. Not only are those parts just so much more powerful, but thanks to the larger chassis, there's more room for cooling as well, and that tempered glass side panel showcasing the vertically mounted GPU is pretty gorgeous. Performance is downright great, and it's pretty much going to be the best you can get, but that's also the beauty and trade-off. So it brings us back to the question, should you get a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop? Well, here are our findings. If you are someone who wants the best performance, require loads of customizability and upgradability, be able to connect to multiple devices and more without the need to move about constantly, a gaming desktop like the Orion 3000 or Orion 7000 should be in your shortlist. On the other hand, if you are someone who wants great performance in a compact package, you don't need much in customizability or upgradability while still having a variety of ports, and most importantly, you move around quite a lot or perhaps you have limited space to work with a gaming laptop like the Helios 300 should be in your shortlist. But to be very honest, no matter which you go for, you're going to get an equally great gaming experience. Gaming laptops have come a long way since then, and they are now equally as competitive as compared to their desktop counterparts. Well, we hope that answers your questions and you have a good look at what Acer has to offer nowadays. Personally, I'm more of a desktop kind of guy and I'll probably go for something like the Orion 7000. But what about you? What would you go for? Let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks to Acer for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to, do check out the affiliate links as well. If you do, thanks for your support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Till the next one. See ya!